creating a controllable array system is possible using geometry nodes. Now let's create a geometry node and instead of using a simple grid, we are going to use a couple nodes to do so. Let's start with a mesh line, an instance on points, a duplicate elements, a set position, a combined XYZ, and a math node that is set to multiply. Let's start by connecting instance on points with a mesh line with our geometry. In our offset, set X to 4 to start with. Connect our duplicate elements node right after our mesh line, and right after duplicate elements, connect the set position node. To start the array, take the combined XYZ and connect that to the set positions offset. Then in duplicate nodes, connect the duplicate index to the multiply node's first value input and the output to the Y. Increase the multiply value to 5 and the duplicate elements amount to 10. So essentially, we made a grid. But the great part about using this node setup is the control we can have when it comes to offsetting the grid pattern. Now duplicate the multiply node. Connect the duplicate index to the first value and its output to the x. Now we can control the offset to the x-axis. We can also do this to the z-axis as well. To repeat the steps, but this time connect the output onto the z-value. Here's a little bonus tip. Now if you want to control how many vertices or instances in certain rows in our columns, you can easily do so by using a raycast node. Back to geometry nodes, let's bring in the cube we just created. Add the raycast node and connect is hit to pick instance. For the raycast target geometry, we are going to use the cube we just created. Remember to set the cube to relative. Now you can control the amount of instances you want to see. However, for me, since I'm a bit OCD, I want to see the amount of instances it generates instead of just hiding it. To do so, I'm going to add another node called Mesh to Points and connect it between Set Position and Instance on Points. Take the Raycast node and connect it to the Mesh to Points selection. Now you can see how many instances it generates. Now if you want to inverse the selection, add a Boolean Math node and set that to NOR. Now you can see in real time how many instances you have in this setup. Definitely you can do a lot with this especially for ArchViz, MoGraph, etc. There you go, a controllable array system using geometry nodes.